Alright, this gave me a migraine, so I figured I would at least post a video on how to fix it quickly. Um, fixing particle effects when upgrading or using a previous version or even importing assets and they come in with particles like this, or even materials like this. That's what it's actually related to are the materials. Um, there's a lot of anything from Reddit to everything else or people just talking about, oh, you just have to create a sh shader graph and then learn 100 hours to do that. No, it's, it's not that complicated. It's not that crazy. So... I'm going to go find where the item was that was having an issue, which is the bow. Um, you're probably already beyond this step. If you're having this problem, you probably already know where it exists. I know it has to do with my arrows, so I go bow muzzle. Sure enough, I find both things here. Bow impact and bow muzzle were both pink. So I go bow impact, open up the prefab. It's off. Not a big deal. Um, we're seeing here that nothing shows up and that's actually what it is if it's that bright pink it's nothing so it turns it bright pink so you know you have a missing material um, this is already a particle system if yours is not it should be changed to particle system so at least the new um, version of unity can recognize it i'm working on 2020.3.0 um, i'm a couple updates behind but you know unity so lts lt please use your lts um I go down a shader. Now, your albedo is almost always going to look correct, which even, it confused me further. It's probably going to be under something like particle slash standard surface, um, assuming you have already made an attempt or uh, upgraded all your materials to HDRP, or else your whole scene will look like this, and you shouldn't be doing it this way. So you go this way. Um, normally, you're going to check under HDRP. None of these will work. I've tried every one. I've just changed all the settings. They don't work. Go down to Legacy Shaders, the one hidden way down here, just out of view. Um, it's going to be particles, and then depending, um, if you're familiar with Photoshop or any other Adobe item, you know what these do. Uh, for smoke, or like embers, I'm going to go, you know what, I'll do additive, because it's an ember. That bright seems reasonable. Boom. That looks decent. Uh, it's hard to tell, of course. So we're going to go muzzle. Kind of do the same thing. Well, no, literally do the same thing. Smoke. Ah, orange square is my favorite. Pink. And then we go down to where it says this. We can obviously tell by the albedo that that is what we want it to look like. Um, the renderer is calling upon smoke, which is this material. We're going to see the same issue. Change it. Go down. Legacy. Particles. And dun, 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 additive soft. That now looks just like my albedo. And uh, we're going to play just to make sure this one looks a lot better. Um, so we're going to go back out of this. No longer editing the prefab. And yes, thank you, Unity. Um, go grab a bow. Does it make sense that when shooting a bow it has smoke? No. Am I glad it's not pink anymore? Yes. And we have two impacts, which are going to be... This is shooting. Okay, there we go. So... There's the shot and then the impact. So that's that's all there is to it. You literally go into the material, you change it from being whatever it default it horribly landed on, and you change it to uh, whatever I told you. Oh, legacy particles, um, whatever is fitting. So cool. I've been having issues with this. I know I have a migraine. I thought I'd throw it out there and help anyone else out who's having relative issues. Um, I'm also going to, if this is like kind of a TLDR, which is, I try to make it short, but I'll put in the full description how to do this as well. Thank you. All right, y'all have a good day. Uh, keep working on stuff, and uh, you've got this. Bye.